Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're gonna look into how to create a Tinder swiping animation using React. And by the way, today is the first day of Chinese New Year. So um, now without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, this is the, uh, actually the code is building by Garbage. And I'm going to clone this uh, GitHub and we see what the result is and try to understand what the code that has been uh, written. So here we just have a quick look and this is all of the uh, installation. And um, I'm going to clone this and also doing some npm install and npm start to see the result on the uh, website. Okay, so first I'm going to clone this and go back to my source tree and I just copy this part I change the directory from here to dry D and then I just paste this here click on clone Alright, so now we have already successfully cloned the GitHub repo and as you can see, this is all of the history. Um, there are 44 commits by Garwish. So now let's open it in our Visual Studio code. Alright, so now I have already opened it in the uh, Visual Studio code. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to navigate to the folder which is inside the dry D. I'm going to navigate to CD um, React Tinder Cards and then do the npm install because uh, we just uh, cloned it from GitHub. So we need to also install some more dependencies as well. So once they finish, we look into how it's run on the website. All right, so the command npm install has been finished and uh, the next step here is to actually run this application using the npm start. All right, so here is the result. As you can see, this is running on local uh, host 3000 and you can see that we can actually swipe less or uh, swipe right as you can see there. And we can also click on this button as well to see next photo and stuff. And um, we can see here we have like a photo itself and down uh, here inside the cart we have the name, uh, age and this is like how far it is from here and this is the text. So we're going to look how uh, the code is uh, written and we can do something like this as you can see. So here we can start looking into the code itself. So inside the app.js, we can see that uh, this is like imported from the uh, component DAX and this is the data itself. So we can see that it's not calling from API, it's just calling it from uh, using this um, JSON format. And here, this is where the picture comes from. It's coming from the unslash.com. And this is the name, age, distance, and the text, whatever that the text says. So this is all static data. And also, uh, what I need to do, I'm going to change some uh, photos as well from here. So before doing that, let's have a look inside the index.js. It's just normal one. Um, here, we look into the components. And... We can also first look into the dact.css. So here we can see this is the body and this is the root. So the background here is uh, salmon. You can see the background here is salmon. Um, also, this is the cursor, which you can see that this is the circle cursor, which getting from this URL basically. So just open this one here to show you um, what's it like so here you go and we have the root this is inside this root this is the salmon which is the button so here the button color because uh, here we can only see one image so that's the reason why we cannot click next or click on the previous button if we input like two uh, images then that should be fine as seen here 
and this is the button so this is the slider so for now before looking into how the components um, these two uh, files works I'm gonna change some background color as well so now let's see if the tinder itself what the color code of the tinder uh, logo all right so here we go um, I just open a new uh, tab which navigate to the tinder color so here we go this is the RGB numbers I'm gonna put it right here also when I double click on this we can just import here as well so you can change to any uh, number I want so what I need to do is just replace this number with the cop uh, number that I just copied from the website so this is the tinder color and now let refresh this you can see that uh, this is the color has now changed so next step here is to basically now let's have a look into the dex.js so here we can see that um, there are a lot of things happening here so this is the uh, to this is from and um, this is some random value that is the rotation so if I change this to say 50 and then go back to this application you can see that the rotation have not changed a lot because uh, we changed the number here so I'm going to change that back to 20 and um, there's like a DAX transitions and using the gesture use springs we look into that in a minute and um, here we just uh, have a quick look on how this done so you can see that um, there's a lot of uh, calculation happening here and I won't go into deep dive into this so if you want to see a video on how this can be done let me know as well and once we get that all of this uh, result so let's say this is a scale coming from here so basically it coming from the constants here and this is transitions from there as well and this is the data which is coming from this uh, data that we just look into all right so um i think that's uh, the DAX is all about so now let's have a look into the use spring and use uh, gesture what these two function does so here this is the use spring um, the use spring basically try to create a component and try to create the animations primitives so let me refresh this you will see the animation here as well so here you go it looks something like this and down here uh, which is the one that we just see similar to the Tinder card so we can just swipe uh, right and swipe left and also for this one uh, just refresh this so here this is the use gesture and we can also see the use gesture here as well so it tried to handle multiple gestures in one hook so that's what the function does in the application you can see here so next one here is again with the react use gesture so we have like some sample code here too the use spring and the use drag so next one here why we're using react uh, dot use gestures so there's a video on youtube you can also look into this one they try to explain how the broker web the animations you know that you should only be use uh, using this uh, react uh, use gesture so that's quite useful if you have some time just take a look into here and um, now let's go back to our application here so the last one here is the card itself so here what it tried to do it tried to get all of the information from the DAX and uh, this is the age distance which is coming from the data the data file here uh, they are using the animated which is coming from react hook uh, spring slash hooks and they do all the animation and this is the uh, all of the informations which is using the pix dot map which try to get all of the uh, each image inside this uh, file so first 
uh, I'm going to go to uh, Unslash, try to change some photos as well to see how it reflects on our uh, React application here. All right, so now I'm in the unslash.com. So this website, basically, we can try to use all of the image freely without any uh, license. So what I can do right here, I can just search for the word lady and then try to pick some uh, image. So just quickly pick two or three. Um, so should be this one. All right, so these three should be fine. And then what can we do? We cannot just copy from this link directly. We need to right click and uh, open the image in a new tab. And also make sure that if we want to actually save the day, uh, save the photo, we can just save it to our local machine and put it into the React application as well. Not just getting the link from here because sometimes it can uh, break, uh, broken down the link. So uh, this is just for an example. I'm going to replace it right here. And then uh, this one, same. Just uh, open image in new tab and this is the link. Replace it with the second one. Third one here. Copy this. And it's down here. Alright, so now we replace three uh, images. And uh, let me close this for now. So now let's go back and see if we actually get the image that we just uh, change. All right, so here we go. Um, the image should be at the bottom of the card. So right here, uh, same one. Here we go. This is the image that I just uh, changed. This one as well. And this is the last one. So once I finish that, it's going to also ultimately come back as well using all of the animation here. So um, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you find this uh, video useful. And also a shout out again to uh, Garvish. Uh, without his repo, I wouldn't create this uh, video as well. And see you guys in the next video.